G'day. So here is another song. Uh, and it so happens that this is also another song that shows how an English word is transformed uh, when it's taken into Ngara. Uh, and the word, the English word, happens to be this one. Piwigi. Piwigi. Uh, which means Buick. Uh, and I would like to mention that from now on uh, I am going to feel at liberty to mention uh, the names uh, of deceased people in my videos. Uh, but when I do, there will always be a warning uh, below so that people will know. Uh, and as it so happens, I have the names of two deceased people on the board here now. Uh, the first one is this here. Virgaro Jinguri. Uh, and what this first line means is that this is Virgaro Jinguri's song. Uh, both names here take the dative suffix ra, which is also used to mark genitive. Yes, so literally this is Virgaro Jinguri's song. Uh, so this is a song about a car ride in a Buick. When my main uh, consultant Sandy grew up on the De Grey station, he was born in 1930 by the way, uh, and when he grew up, there were only three cars uh, or motor vehicles on the station. There was the manager's car, uh, there was a truck used for windmill work, and there was the general manager's Buick, which he only used in the sheep shearing season. Uh, and I have to conclude that the general manager was a Ngara man because his name is mentioned here at the bottom uh, and this is a Ngara name. Uh, Ngaro means stomach. Uh, this should not surprise anyone. Uh, you see, when a baby was born it was very common to give it a name that reflected uh, how it looked when it was newborn. So did it have any special characteristic? Uh, then it got a name uh, to reflect that. So in this case there was something with the stomach. Uh, there was another Gara man who was called Mirgapinya. Uh, Mirga, as it so happens, is head. Uh, and Mirga Pinya means that there is something wrong with the head or in the head. Uh, when he was born, he was born with a head that was a bit squeezed in, pushed in here at the top. So he therefore got the name Mirga Pinya. But back to the song. Mora uh, Marumaru. Ground shaking. Wal Yanya. Not rough. Marbaran. Smooth. Uh, this should be interpreted to mean, I have read, that the ground is shaking, but the ride is not rough, it is smooth. Piwiki Winja Yawilani. Winja means that someone is giving permission, uh, and Yawilani is a verb in the imperative form, a verb that means to sway or to rock. So this means something like, uh, let the Buick sway. 
yarga para pero ro nganiman yarga distant pero ro eh, destination eh, something like that and nganiman is a complex verb also in the imperative form eh, ngara has two verbal conjugations in one of them, the imperative is marked by the suffix n. In the other, it is marked by zero, which is to say that there is no overt uh, imperative uh, marker, imperative suffix. So uh, this is let him see far ahead. Django, mor Django moro mano. Django is free or unrestrained. Uh, this is the past tense. He let it run free. Uh, and this last part is interesting, I think. Uh, we have, like I have already mentioned, Ngaro Jorgana here. Uh, these are both names uh, and we get the ergative suffix lu at the end because what Maru Jorgana is doing is he is driving. Jiba is a verb that means to steer but also to drive. It's also used in the sense to drive because the one who is driving is obviously uh, steering. So, Ngaro Jorgana uh, is driving Yananga Lu. Yananga Lu. Now, Yananga is literally backrest. Uh, and we have the Lu suffix again. Uh, the ergative allomorphs also mark instrumental case. And this needs to be uh, in, interpreted to be the instrumental uh, that it is marking here. So what does this mean? This means that Naru Jorgana drove uh, in a laid-back way. Uh, he was leaning against the backrest. He was relaxed. Uh, yes, Piwigi. And Wirgaru Jinguri thought that this was a memorable a car ride. It probably didn't happen all that often that he got the chance to ride in the car. Uh, and so he wrote this song about it. That's all for today. I will see you later.